let's talk about subtracting integers. All right, so the beauty of subtracting integers is we get to change our subtraction into addition, and then we can follow our same rules as adding integers. So what this means is if you see a subtraction, so 35 minus 10, we are going to do this thing called add the opposite, or maybe you learned it as keep, change, change. So I'll explain both. Um, add the opposite, or add up, is a shortcut to say that. So the 35 will stay the same. We're going to change the subtraction right here, that subtraction, into addition. So we're going to add, so there's our plus, and then the opposite. So we're going to take this 10, and we're going to make it a negative 10. So now we have a 35 plus a negative 10. We're adding two integers with opposite signs, so we actually will subtract. 35 minus 10 is 25, and then keep the sign of the bigger number, which is a 35, so we have a positive 25. So we did add up on that one. Now if keep change change sounds more familiar to you, let me show you how that works. Um, keep change change works only with subtraction. First thing you want to do is keep the first number of negative 35. So I'm going to keep, I'll just rewrite the problem. Negative 35. Um, change, so keep change change. The first change tells us to change that subtraction. So if it's a subtracting, we're going to change it to a plus. So what do we say? Keep change change. So we kept the 35, we changed the subtraction to addition, and there's one more change. This 5, we are going to go ahead and make it a, change it to a negative 5. So if I were to do this up in the problem, you would keep the 35. We're going to change the subtraction to addition. And you're going to change the 5 to a negative 5. So now we are adding two integers that are, have the same sign. So if they have the same sign, you add them together. 35 plus 5 is 40, and you keep the same sign of negative. So our answer is negative 40. All right, let me go back to add up on this next example. We have negative 10 minus a negative 13. So add up would tell us to, you always leave the first number alone, but this subtraction we're going to add, so there's our plus, and then up, we have to do the opposite of negative 13, so that becomes a positive 13. Now we're going to add these two numbers together, but we notice they have opposite signs, negative 10 and a positive 13. So our rules tell us to actually subtract those. 13 minus 10 is 3, and keep the sign of the bigger number. The bigger number is positive, so this will be a positive 3. All right, last example, let me do the keep change change on this one. All right, so keep tells us to keep the 8 as is. Change, change your subtraction to addition and then change the negative 10 to a positive 10. So keep, change, change. Now we are adding 8 plus 10. We have two integers with the same sign, so you add and keep. Add the two numbers together and keep the same sign. So that becomes a positive 18.